Hi, and welcome to this first impression slash makeup video. Today we are trying the Maybelline Master Fix Setting Plus Perfecting Loose Powder. I've been seeing this all over their Instagram, and I, I think, I don't know, it, it's the packaging that just attracts me to it for some reason. But I have not seen much about it, uh, so I decided to buy it, to try it for myself, and let you guys know what is up. So let's just get started with a little makeup on this thing, right? Hold me close till I get up Time is barely on our side Okay, so now we're gonna get to the fun part where we're gonna be trying the powder. I've zoomed you in just a little bit more. Here we go. Looks like this when you open it. I kind of like that there's only like a few holes up here than the whole thing just being holes because that can get quite um, messy real quick. Here we go. And then we're just gonna put it to, to bake a little actually. It could work differently on different people, obviously. It is quite cheap. Usually Maybelline products are around like 99 kroners, which is around $10 um, or over. Um, but this was actually on sale for 79 kroners, which is around $8, I would say. And we're just gonna let that sit for a teeny tiny bit and see what happens. And while I do that, I'm gonna do something with my eyes and I'll check in with you when we take off the bake. So now we're gonna do the fun part of removing the bake and seeing just how it is, how it sits on the face, and most importantly, if it is translucent and goes off, because I've tried powders before, like the loose powder from NYX. I always say the compact powder is fine, but the loose powder, literally sits on like a layer of just powder it doesn't it isn't translucent but yeah so as you can see i've put the powder on ooh, my nose and under my eyes and it's supposed to feel like a layer of silk laying on your skin goes off pretty all right i would say hmm have we actually found a decent Maybelline product here? Oh, here we go. Hmm. It goes off pretty all right. Like, it doesn't sit on like a layer of of white in comparison to the what happened with the next translucent powder. So if I get you all up close here, you can see that it, 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 it sits on pretty well. Um, of course, it is the wear test, how long it lasts, if anything happens, if it does what it says it does. I think I'll just have to check in again in a few hours, see how it has been on my face, and just let's see what happens. So here we are about eight hours later. The powder sits on like a dime. I have oily skin, I have combination skin. Literally not much has happened, but when I did apply it, it kind of felt like it exaggerated the pores on my nose. If you have bad skin, uh, more wrinkles, darker circles, I don't know how this would be for you. Everything like is from person to person, obviously, but just from a bigger perspective, I think this is really one of those hit or misses. 
And I must say, I can zoom you in on this. Right under here, you see here, you see that line? Yeah, that never creases. And this immediately creased here. And that never does that usually with me. So I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that. And can you see that it's kind of exaggerating the pores on my nose? But when it came to the smoothing blurry effect, I really feel like it did what it said it would do. I don't know if I particularly like it though. You know, when I take pictures, you can always see like my contour and like the different shadows of my face. This powder kind of just made me feel like it was just all white. You know what I mean? But maybe that is something about the blurring smoothing effect right here that I'm not entirely used to. That was kind of new. Yeah, but I'm definitely gonna place a bake before I contour. And I must say, I fucking hate the foundation I'm wearing today. The Double Wear by Estee Lauder is some of the most overrated crap. It oxidizes on me. It just sits on terribly, and when I put it on, I always feel disgusting. So maybe that has something to do with the verdict of this setting powder. In comparison to other drugstore setting powder, I must say this is a clear, very good setting powder. This is smoothing, and it, it besides it being a little bit white and maybe giving a little bit flashback, but not like too much, not like too noticeable you just look kind of a little bit too white I'd recommend it because it's fairly cheap it's cheaper than NYX I would believe and it's better and I think this was a solid win for the drugstore this time and even though there is better there's uh, Laura Mercier and there's our RS RCMA powders that are way better for drugstore this is a damn good setting powder. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and review. You can subscribe, you can like, you can do whatever. Don't worry about it. Comment whatever you like, whatever you want to know about this, about the powder, about makeup, about life. I got you. So thanks for watching and I hope I see you in the next video and while we're waiting for the next video you can go look at some of my older stuff because some of that stuff goes way back and it's super embarrassing but you know we all have our moments so bye!